What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about the Rugby World Cup. As I've titled it, the rise and the fall of the various nations that we have witnessed in this World Cup. If we look back in the past four years, we've seen ups and downs from all the nations. South Africa went from mm, okay times to really poor times under Alistair Kutsia and we've seen such a great rise under R R Rassi Erasmus. Pretty much the best Springbok environment I've seen in a long time, probably since 2007. So I'm very excited for the Rugby World Cup. Um, if we look at Ireland, they've also been up and down, but obviously 2018 being the highlight year for them, achieving all those successes of the Grand Slam Six Nations Championship, All Black win, Australian win, it was big times for them. But this year it's been a, a up and down start, especially in the Six Nations. However, they did pick up a convincing win against Italy. So hopefully we'll see them on the rise, but it's definitely been on the up and the down. And for me, uh, they're in a very interesting situation and um, brings me to the next guys, Wales. Now, they have been on a remarkable run. Again, going back four years ago, weren't the strongest team, weren't the biggest threat that we would have thought. And um, then they went on an injury spell where they just weren't really the team that everyone was talking about. And then come this past year, they have been, past two years really, they have really been on an amazing rise. Um, and achieved so much success. I mean, Warren Gatlin and Jones have really taken leadership within Wales. I mean, 14-game winning streak, which was absolutely under, unbelievable, only being broken um, just last week, which is still amazing. And for that, we've got to give this team credit. It was truly, truly special of what they've achieved. They hit number one for 14 hours and dropped back down to number two. Have an opportunity this weekend to regain number one spot, which could be quite amazing if they can achieve that. So they are really also a team on the rise. Um, and I'm excited to see what they uh, have to produce in the World Cup. And it also brings me back to the next thing, how these teams deal with pressure. And uh, will they be on the rise or will they be on the decline? Um, because that's going to be... Or, the interesting part of a World Cup. We've seen Ireland really look strong in certain instances before a World Cup, but then um, quarter-final time, it's the pressure, and they just don't go far past that. Um, we haven't seen a Northern Hemisphere team win the World Cup since 2003, so the pressure. Will we see the fall of the Southern Hemisphere team and the rise of the North to maybe gain a championship, uh, a big World Cup victory? New Zealand, I mean, they've just been on a rise, really, um, since twenty, since the 2015 Rugby World Cup. This year, maybe have a little bit of a tilt downwards, but, um, I mean, they're only human, but they've definitely been on a slight fall. They're not the most dominant team that we would have thought if we had to talk about this game or these World Cup games two to, or one or two years ago. So it's been interesting watching New Zealand really become humane again and not the almighty All Blacks who no one can beat. I mean, we've seen South Africa draw, we've seen Australia win, Ireland win, England come close, Lion Series results we all know about. So it's been very interesting to watch um, the All Blacks. But again, I mean, they've been number one for so long. And for that, I'll always give respect and credit. But it's been interesting watching them take a little bit of a dip England, they were obviously really on a downhill from when, when, when we last spoke for the Rugby World Cup in 2015. But then they went on one hell of a rise um, and looked good. They won the Six Nations under Eddie Jones. And then they went on a decline um, last year where they were appalling. They lost to South Africa in, in the SA Series. They were fifth in the Six Nations. So not many happy times for them. But now they started to peak a bit and are rising. They had an okayish Six Nations season, um, and then they beat Wales, be, uh, beating the streak, which is pretty unbelievable. So they are definitely on the rise. I think they're on the right track as we approach this Rugby World Cup. France, now they have been on the fall, in my opinion. Um, yes, there's been a spark here and there, and they are playing this weekend, which will be an interesting game to watch against Scotland. But um, they, for me, have really been on the decline. They was they look solid in World Cups. They've looked solid in certain instances. But um, this past Six Nations Championship was not very convincing for me. And um, even in the certain friendlies I've watched, they just haven't been that great. And they've got a lot of work to do. The juniors did win. 
the Junior World Cup, which will give them a boost and a bit of hope as they approach the, the Rugby World Cup. So hopefully that will push them on the rise. But they, them, for me, have been on a fall. Um, but I'm hoping that we can see a, a turnaround. Australia, very hard one to talk about. They've definitely been on the fall. Um, but we're seeing a nice little tip. So the graph is doing that. And now hopefully starting to move up after their win against Argentina. And now their massive win against the All Blacks. So it's good, good timing for the Wallabies to start picking up a win. A much needed win. And they need to take this going forward. So for me, if we... Not counting the results, they were definitely on the fall, but are starting to tick at the right time. So they are definitely a team we need to watch out who could rise in the Rugby World Cup. If we look at Argentina, I mean, jeepers, they were nowhere um, at one stage. And now they've pretty much in the past year have, have pushed up on the rise. I mean, they were low, but now they're on the rise. And yes, they've gone for a little dip again. Um, after this rugby championship, but taking into account of what I've seen in Super Rugby, what I saw in the November tours, they've really shown a lot of heart and improvement at even last year's rugby championship. So f f being on those results, they've definitely been on a rise, but they've hit a little fall now. But hopefully with experience and training and coaching and leadership, they can work on their weaknesses, which is discipline and scrummaging. Um, and that will help them go get back on that rise that they really need to be on. Otherwise, they're going to hit the fall. Scotland, very interesting team. I mean, I love watching Scotland play. Uh, they definitely have been on a good rise. Um, Six Nations this year, not as great as last year, but they've they've had great games, which are ones to remember. They've also had the odd one, which aren't. But um, obviously, last year, having won the Calcutta Cup, which was absolutely amazing. So for me, Scotland are definitely on the rise and a team to watch out for as we approach this Rugby World Cup. And they're all dark horses, and we've got to remember that. Now, if we go to Fiji, Tonga, all the the the, the weaker nations, if I may say, uh, Japan, those guys, whether we like it or not, they are on the rise. Fiji have had some solid games um, um, where they've gone up the rankings. Yes, they've also had the odd loss too, but they've shown a lot of improvement um, we, we, which has been great to witness. Japan are definitely on the rise compared to where they were before. I mean, obviously, the big talk was South Africa's loss, and now they've just shot up to ninth place in the World Rugby Rankings, which has been absolutely amazing for them. So they can continue this great form and improvement. I mean, that will be one hell of a dark horse to look out for. I mean, I'm terrified of Japan. As, well, rightly so, because, I mean, they need nearly clap us. Well, they did beat us, sorry. So, having said that, I mean, New Zealand, obviously, slight fall, but you can never count them out, and they've always been on the rise. So, this little fall is like a, a smack on the backside to get them back online again. Wales, like I said, are definitely on the rise. Ireland, we're on the rise, but now it's a straight line for me. Now, England... Also, they're on the rise. I think they've done really well. South Africa, proud of them, on the rise. Australia were declining, but now straight line on their way up. Um, Scotland on the rise slightly. France decline. Japan rise. Fiji rise. Um, Argentina, very confusing for me. Italy have been up and down. I think this has been a solid year for them. They did go up in rankings from 14th to 13th, but they're still quite low. USA, Tonga, Samoa, really looking also the dangerous, the dark horses. We've got to watch out for them. Canada, I mean, they're there and thereabouts. Russia, always got to look out for these teams. A World Cup can cause an upset and destroy us. So it's exciting. And um, the more we think about the rise and the fall of these teams, the more we reckon it could just switch. And those rises could fall and those falls could rise. And we could see a totally different team winning the Rugby World Cup. Wouldn't that be something special? I can't wait. I think it's going to be unbelievable Rugby World Cup where we're going to see some great things. Having said that, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Something different, but more of an odd discussion about the Rugby World Cup. But it's definitely something to look out for. The rise and the fall of the various nations as we approach the Rugby World Cup of 2019. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys real soon for another video. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.